Hi there, this is Yamin Jr. and today I'm going to talk a little bit about compositing. I'm going to be using Blender 2.5 Alpha O. Anyway, in this example I'm going to be using compositing to overlay my render of a default cube on top of an image from my digital camera. I've got my view all set up. Okay, so first of all because, just to make things easier, uh, because I'm going to be overlaying just the image of the cube without a background, obviously, I want to change the alpha down here in the render settings to st straight alpha. That means instead of the sky, we actually get an alpha channel rendered in the background. And to go along with this, in order for it actually to work properly, I want to go, I want to actually give assign it a color so the traditional sort of purpley color all right I'm gonna up the anti aliasing and in case none of this works for you make sure that under post processing compositing is checked right so we can go right ahead and start using the nodes first of all check the use nodes checkbox and two nodes will be added these are the default nodes the render layer of course standing for the render layer the current one the image that you will actually render my default cube here secondly I have the composite node this is basically the actual output first of all it's rendered and then it's sent through the compositing pipeline and this is the output of the composite, compositing pipeline right here. So, now I'm going to, have, having set up my um, render layer, I'm going to add my um, image from a digital camera. Something that looks good. Give it a second. There we go. Right. Next, what we want to do is mix the two of them together. We want to overlay this cube on top of my image. So I'm going to add a new color node called Mix. I'm going to set it to Mix. I'm going to turn on, include this alpha of second input, because they're actually reversed in this case. Next what I'm going to do is because as you can see this cube isn't very smooth the edges even though they're anti-aliased because of the alpha they're still going to be a little bit too um, jaggedy so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a filter and it's going to be in soften mode so that it basically makes the image nice and um, smooth And I'm going to take the mixed image and then soften that. And then I'm going to connect finally in a sort of linear step the filter to the composite output. Right. I'm going to change the factor to 1. There we go. Save it first. I just I don't know. Um, right now, let's have, a go, let's have a go at rendering. First, it renders a cube. Then it filters it and does the composite. There we go. That's our nice smooth cube on top of the image. Hang on a second. Is it just me or is the image a little bit too small? Well, rather the image is too large. It's been cropped. I'm going to change the resolution here to 100 so I get a full HD picture. I'm going to try rendering it again. A massive cube. 
and we still the image is still far too large so now I'm going to add another node and this one is going to be a distort and it's going to be a scale a scale node on the actual image but on the background image my laptop so take that out of there and instead scale it and reconnect it make sure it's relative and change both the X and Y you can see it updating in here to something a little more appropriate like 0.5 seems to work for me maybe 0.4 Okay, 0.5 it is. <laughs> Save it again. Don't crash. And there we have a nice background image with a nice smooth cube overlaid. So let's just make sure we get the steps here. First of all, we have a render layer, that's the actual rendered image of the cube, with a background color set. I don't know why, but that actually seems to make a difference. I think you, actually, you have to actually set the horizon color to just some color first, and then set the alpha to straight alpha. This, obviously, as I said before, adds the alpha channel to the back, and you don't get a sky, you just get the alpha. Next, I mix the two with a mix, making sure that it's actually rendered um, in order. So, firstly, we get this background image. That's the first connected, so that's rendered first. Then we get my render layer, and then that's the second image, so it's then re rendered on top of that afterwards in a sort of linear order. Um, these are the different methods you can use. So I use add, which will add the color values together. Subtract, obviously, does the opposite. Multiply the uh, overlay. We actually get the um, cube image put onto the background image. Um, if I was going to use it, I would swap these two round like that. So then when we render it, you get the cube, but the actual the image, my background image, is rendered onto the cube. That is a really useful and quite cool sometimes um, feature. The well methods, the overlay method. But for now we're just gonna use mix. I don't um I really just use the alpha on this if you include alpha the second input is definitely required because of course the second input is our render layer our cube we need to use that alpha channel so we make sure that's selected so that when it is rendered it uses that alpha so that you only see the cube in fact uh, I don't think yeah the fact uh, will basically determine how much of the cube is actually mixed to it. Next using the filter to soften it, factor of one. And obviously this is the final output. I'm also using the scale on this to make sure I get the right size for this background image. Because my actual input of this is really quite a high resolution image. <coughs> Although, when I took it, there wasn't much in terms of a light source, and it is a bit um, low. It does look low quality. But that's simply because it's a bit, you know, you get. Because of the movement of the camera. But yeah, that's an example of some simple compositing. I will hopefully be posting another part of this video where we'll, I will look at how you would use things like green screen and also using videos as opposed to this background image.